first problem what will be the compound interest we have to find out compound interest on 7600 rupees at the rate of 5 percent per annum per annum means per year for two years so we have to calculate the compound interest for two years so let us start the solution in solution first of all we will write what is given so they have given the amount the amount whichever they are giving that is called the principal amount so here the amount is 7600 rupees so this is the principal amount for the first year so let us write down principal for first year so it is rupees 7600 next and we are having 5% as a rate of interest so let us write down rate of interest rate of interest is 5% per annum means per year so per annum so these are the two things they have given and one more thing is two years okay so that we will use afterwards first we will find out the amount of interest for first year so interest for first year we know the interest formula i is equals to ptr by 100 so let us write down that formula here i is equals to p t r by 100 so this is the formula we are going to use here so i is equals to p p is how much rupees 7600 into time Time we know that it is 1 for the first year we are writing 1 into r means rate of interest that is 5 percent so by 100 now we can cancel these two zeros two zeros so 76 ones are 76 into 5 5 6 are 30 5 6 are 30 5 7 are 35 plus 3 is 380 so rupees 380 is the interest next next we can find out the amount amount at the end of the year that means at the end of the first year it will we have to divide we have to add this and the principal amount interest and the principal amount to get the amount so amount at the end of at the end of first year so at the end of first year is rupees 7600 plus we are having the interest amount that is rupees 380 so we will get if we add this we will get 7000 600 plus 300 is 900 980 so 7980 is the amount so this amount will be will become the principal for the second year so let us write down principal so principal for second year So principal here is rupees 7980 next we know the interest so interest for second year is equals to again the formula is PTR by 100 so what is PP is the principal amount that is 7980 into T 
t is time period so here again for the next year that is 1 into rate of interest is 5 percent by 100 so we can cancel this 0 and 0 we will get 7 9 8 5 ones are 5 by 10 so 5 eights are 40 5 nines are 45 plus 4 is 49 5 sevens are 35 plus 4 is 39 by 10 we can cancel these two zeros so here we are getting the amount amount of interest interest is 399 next we can write amount at the end of the second year so amount at at the end of second year so amount at the end of second year is we need to add the principal amount so that is 7980 plus 399 so let us add this 7000 we will write down 7000 otherwise let us add from back 9 plus 0 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17, so 9 plus 1 10, 10 plus 3 13, so 7 plus 1 is 8, so 8379 rupees. Now we can find compound interest, so compound interest So compound interest is equals to amount minus we need to subtract the principal amount. So principal. So amount. So total amount we got is 8379 minus. What is the principal amount at the first year? That is 7600. Now let us subtract this. Let us subtract here. So 8379 and 7600. If we subtract, we will get 79 and 13 minus 6 is 7. So we are getting 779. So rupees 700 and 779. 